All right, Tay, what's up, guys? This is hole number five we're going to take a look at. Uh, not my favorite of wins for this one. Um, one of the things that I'll typically try to do is maybe keep the backspin just a little bit down in this scenario. Um, typically, I might go full, but not here. And what I'm going to try to do is pretty close to one to one in this situation. So let's just try that. And then what you can try to do on top of that is just try to figure out the correct amount of curl that you'll need to go. So you can see with how much I was trying to do, it looks like a, just a tiny bit aggressive, but you can see my distance control is pretty good. I had um, six backspin on there instead of the full 6.5. And if anything, I just curled it a little bit more. It looked like I was maybe going three quarters of the ball outside, give or take, um, from eyeballing. And, um, you know, going that one per ring, you know, whatever the wind is, is going to be ideal. And then you'll just tweak that curl amount. And you can see I probably used maybe about 15 to 20 curl too much there. So let's say in theory, you know, my curl was probably, you know, maybe like in the 30 to 40 range. Um, it should probably be more in like 15 to 20 range. So you'll just want to maybe go just a little bit less than half a ball outside and um, really be able to just fine tune that one. Um, but the biggest thing will be, you know, your land zone and making sure that you have the proper amount of backspin. You can see the, it looks like the opponent's ball kind of jumped over the cup there. It means it came in just a little bit too hot. So you'll want to avoid that from happening if you can. So good luck, and I'll see you guys on the next one.